Hello, welcome. Imagine how amazing it would be if we could relive our favorite old games with completely updated graphics. Fortunately, thanks to texture packs used in emulators and PC native games, we now have a powerful tool to make this idea a reality, and Nvidia has taken a big step in this direction with the launch of RTX Remix. This innovative tool allows us to add the revolutionary ray tracer, taking game visuals to a new level of realism. Additionally, it's possible to replace textures in old games, resulting in a completely refreshed experience. Several classics have already received this incredible update, such as the iconic Quake 2 RTX and the Immortal Portal with RTX. And for fans of the classic Need for Speed Underground 2, user Uncle Burrito 15 has worked tirelessly on a fascinating project, the Need for Speed Underground 2 RTX Remix. Although still unfinished, it already demonstrates impressive results, bringing back all the excitement of the original game with stunning visuals. If you are a nostalgic gaming enthusiast and into emulation, don't forget to like this video and follow our channel to stay up to date with the latest news. Every week, we bring new and exciting content for gaming lovers. Thank you for being with us. This video is offered by the members and Patreons of the channel. Thank you for your support. Firstly, in the description of this video, you will find the creator's channel of this impressive mod, along with a brief tutorial for installation. However, it's important to note that installing the mod can be a challenging task, as the game may not run at a native resolution with an acceptable frame rate. To maintain a 60 frames per second rate, enabling DLSS is necessary. Within the mod, there are various settings to customize the amount of light and shadows in the game. When testing the default preset, I noticed that everything became very dark, and when I adjusted the settings on my own, I found that the result was also quite different from the original game. Therefore, I recommend experimenting with different settings to find the ones that suit you best. I must say that there has been a considerable improvement in all scenarios, with the addition of many water puddles, which seem to have been intentionally added to showcase the potential of the ray tracer. However, some things have not been implemented yet, such as the painting of some cars, which still appear entirely matte. But it's understandable, as the mod is still in its early versions and is constantly being improved. Regarding gameplay, it remains the same as the game released years ago. However, it's worth mentioning that, according to what I've read elsewhere, not all areas of the game have received the Ray Tracer implementation, and it may be impossible to complete the game in its current state. Another difference I noticed with the RTX Remix compared to the original game is that the AI of other racers seems to be more aggressive, making the races even more exciting. The mod also supports Fidelity FX, but I don't have information about compatibility with AMD GPUs, so it's advisable to check if the feature is functional for those users. This video was short, but I hope it was helpful in sharing this incredible modification. It's worth mentioning that the team behind it is also working on the first Need for Speed Underground, which is my favorite, and also on Most Wanted from 2005. I'm looking forward to more updates and improvements in these projects. I hope you enjoyed the content. And until the next video.